List of Utopian Literature This is a list of utopian literature. A utopia is a community or society possessing highly desirable or perfect qualities. It is a common literary theme, especially in speculative fiction and science fiction. Pre-16th century the word utopia was coined in Greek language by Sir Thomas More for his 1516 book Utopia. But the genre has roots dating back to antiquity. The Republic Ka. 370-360 BC by Plato one of the earliest conceptions of a utopia. Laws 360 BC by Plato. The Republic Ka. 300 BC by Zeno of Citium an ideal society based on the principles of Stoicism. Sacred History Ka. 300 BC by Euhemerus describes the rational island paradise of Pantia. Islands of the Sun Ka. 165-50 BC by Imbulus Utopian novel describing the features and inhabitants of the title islands. Life of Lycurgus Ka. 100 BC by Plutarch. The Peach Blossom Spring Tao Huayu in 421 C by Tao Yuanami. The Virtuous City Al Madina Al Fadila by Al Farabi 874-950 A story of Medina as an ideal society ruled by the Prophet Mohammed. The Book of the City of Ladies 1404 by Christine de Pizan The Earliest European Work on Women's History by a Woman and about a utopian city constructed exclusively by women's histories. 16th-17th centuries. Utopia 1516 by Thomas More. Wolferia 1521 by Johann Eberlin von Gunsberg, a Lutheran utopia, which levied harsh punishments on sinners. La Citafelis 1553 by Francesco Patrizzi. A work touching the good ordering of a common wheel, 1559, by Joannes Ferrarius Montanus. Ciucilla, Too Good to Be True, 1580, by Thomas Lupton. La Cita del Sol, later published as Civitas Solis, 1602, by Tommaso Campanella. Il Belluzzi, Oviro della Cita Felis, 1615, by Ladavico Zaccalo. Histoire du Grand et Admirable Royaume d'Antangil, 1616, attributed to Jean de Moncy, detailed description of the ordering of the island of Antangil, with a classical republic and multiple checks on power. Christianopolis Republici Christianopolitani Descriptio, 1619, by Johann Valentin Andri. The City of the Sun, 1623, by Tommaso Campanella, depicts a theocratic and egalitarian society. Republica de Vandria, 1625, by Ladovico Zaccalo. New Atlantis, 1627, by Sir Francis Bacon. The Man in the Moon, 1638, by Francis Godwin. A description of the famous Kingdom of Macaria, 1641, by Samuel Hartlib. Marcaria, 1641, by Gabriel Platz. Nova Solomon, 1648, by Samuel Gott. The Law of Freedom in a Platform, 1652, by Jared Winstanley, a radical communist vision of an ideal state. Gargantua and Pantagruel Ka. 1653-1694, by Francois Rabelais. The Commonwealth of Oceanus, 1656, by James Harrington, a constitutionalist utopian republic in which a balanced allocation of land ensured a balanced government. Comical History of the States and Empires of the Moon, Histoire Comique Contenant Les Etats et Empires de la Lune, 1657, by Cyrano de Bergerac. The Blazing World, 1666, by Margaret Cavendish, describes a utopian society in a story mixing science fiction, adventure, and autobiography. The Isle of Pines, 1668, by Henry Neville, five people are shipwrecked on an idyllic island in the Southern Hemisphere. The History of the Severites, or Severam, by 1675, by Denis Veras. The Southern Land Known La Terre, Austral Canoe, 1676, by Gabriel de Foydney. Synapia, 1682. 
The Adventures of Telemachus, 1699, by Francois de Salignac de la Mauve Fenelon, 18th century. Robinson Crusoe, 1719, by Daniel Defoe. Gulliver's Travels, 1726, by Jonathan Swift. The Adventures of Sig. Gaudentio di Luca, 1737, by Simon Beerington. The Life and Adventures of Peter Wilkins, 1751, by Robert Palta. A General Idea of the College of Morania, 1753, by William Smith, describes a utopian educational system. This is the earliest known utopia published in the United States. A Vindication of Natural Society, 1756, by Edmund Burke. Candide, U El Optimisme, 1759, by Voltaire. Rasselas, 1759, by Samuel Johnson. Millennium Hall, 1762, by Sarah Scott. An Account of the First Settlement of the Cessairs, 1764, by James Berg. Memoirs of the Year 2500, original title, LN 2440. Rivet Essil and Fut Jemise which translates literally to the year 2440, A Dream If Ever There Was One, 1771, by Louis Sebastian Mercier. Supplement O Voyage de Bougainville, 1772, by Denis Diderot, a set of philosophical dialogues written by Denis Diderot, inspired by Louis Antoine de Bougainville's Voyage Autour du Monde. Diderot presents Bougainville's descriptions of Tahiti as a utopia standing in contrast to European culture. Enquiry Concerning Political Justice, 1793, by William Godwin. Description of Spensonia, 1795, by Thomas Spence. 19th Century. Theory of the Four Movements, 1808, by Charles Fourier. The Empire of the Nairs, 1811, by James Henry Lawrence. The Voyage to Icaria, 1842, by Etienne Cabot, inspired the Icarian movement. Sibling Life or Brothers and Sisters Swedish, Siskenlif, 1848, by Frederica Bremer. Viril, The Power of the Coming Race, 1871, by Edward Bulwer-Lytton, is an utopian novel with a superior subterranean cooperative society. Eruvin, 1872, by Samuel Butler, satirical utopian novel with dystopian elements set in the Southern Alps, New Zealand. Missouri, 1881, by Mary E. Bradley Lane. A Crystal Age, 1887, by W. H. Hudson, an amateur ornithologist and botanist, falls down a crevice and wakes up centuries later in a world where humans live in families in harmony with each other and animals, but where reproduction, emotions, and secondary sexual characteristics are repressed, except for the alpha males and females. Looking Backward, 1888, by Edward Bellamy. Freeland, 1890, by Theodore Hertzka. Gloriana, or the Revolution of 1900, 1890, by Lady Florence Dixie, the female protagonist poses as a man, Hector Ella Strange is elected to the House of Commons and wins women the vote. The book ends in the year 1999 with a description of a prosperous and peaceful Britain governed by women. News from Nowhere 1892 by William Morris Nowhere is a place without politics, a future society based on common ownership and democratic control of the means of production. 2894 or The Fossil Man, A Midwinter Night's Dream, 1894, by Walter Brown. A Traveler from Altruria, 1894, by William Dean Howells. Equality, 1897, by Edward Bellamy. The Future State, Production and Consumption in the Socialist State. Der Zukunftsstaat, Production und Konsum im Sozialstaat. 1898, by Carly's Ballodies. He adopted the pseudonym Ballad Atlanticus from Bacon's book Nova Atlantis, 1627. 20th, 21st centuries. Nequa or the Problem of the Ages by Jack Adams, a feminist utopian science fiction novel printed in Topeka, Kansas in 1900. 
Sultana's Dream 1905 by Begum Rokia, Bengali feminist utopian story about Lady Land. A Modern Utopia 1905 by H. G. Wells, an imaginary, progressive utopia on a planetary scale in which the social and technological environment are in continuous improvement, a world state owns all land and power sources, positive compulsion and physical labor have been all but eliminated, general freedom is assured, and an open voluntary order of samurai rules. Beatrice XVI by Irene Clyde, a time traveler, discovers a lost world, which is an egalitarian utopian post-gender society. Red Star Novel 1908 Red Star Russian Krasnaya Zvezda is Alexander Bogdanov's 1908 science fiction novel about a communist society on Mars. The first edition was published in St. Petersburg in 1908 before eventually being republished in Moscow and Petrograd in 1918, and then again in Moscow, 1922. The Millennium, a comedy of the year 2000 by Upton Sinclair. A novel in which capitalism finds its zenith with the construction of the Pleasure Palace. During the grand opening of this, an explosion kills everybody in the world except 11 of the people at the Pleasure Palace. The survivors struggle to rebuild their lives by creating a capitalistic society. After that fails, they create a successful utopian society, the cooperative commonwealth, and live happily forever after. Herland 1915 by Charlotte Perkins Gilman, an isolated society of women who reproduce asexually has established an ideal state that reveres education and is free of war and domination. The New Moon, A Romance of Reconstruction, 1918, by Oliver Onions. The Islands of Wisdom, 1922, by Alexander Miskowski in the novel Various Utopian and Dystopian Islands that embody social-political ideas of European philosophy are explored. The philosophies are taken to their extremes for their absurdities when they are put into practice. It also features an island of technology which anticipates mobile telephones, nuclear energy, a concentrated brief language that saves discussion time and a thorough mechanization of life. Men Like Gods 1923 by H. G. Wells Men and Women in an Alternative Universe Without World Government in a Perfected State of Anarchy Our Education is Our Government, a utopian named Lion says, Sectarian religion, like politics, has died away, and advanced scientific research flourishes. Life is governed by the five principles of liberty, which are privacy, freedom of movement, unlimited knowledge, truthfulness, and freedom of discussion and criticism. Lost Horizon 1933 by James Hilton The Mythical Community of Shangri-La War with the Newts, 1936, by Carol Capic, satirical science fiction novel. For Us, the Living, a comedy of customs, 1938, published in 2003 by Robert A. Heinlein, a futuristic utopian novel explaining practical views on love, freedom, drive, government, and economics. Islandia, 1942, by Austin Tap and Wright, an imaginary island in the Southern Hemisphere, a utopia containing many Arcadian elements, including a policy of isolation from the outside world and a rejection of industrialism. Walden II, 1948, by B. F. Skinner, a community in which every aspect of living is put to rigorous scientific testing. A professor and his colleagues question the effectiveness of the community started by an eccentric man named T. E. Frazier. Childhoods and 1954 by Arthur C. Clarke, Alien Beings Guide, Humanity Towards a More Economically Productive and Technologically Advanced Society, Allowing Humans to Broaden Their Mental Capacities. Island 1962 by Aldous Huxley follows the story of Will Farnaby, a cynical journalist, who shipwrecks on the fictional island of Pala and experiences their unique culture and traditions which create a utopian society. 
Utopia 1967 by Powell Anderson. The Dispossessed, An Ambiguous Utopia 1974 by Ursula K. Le Guinness set between a pair of planets. One, that like Earth today is dominated by private property, nation states, gender hierarchy, and war, and the other an anarchist society without private property. Ecotopia, The Notebooks and Reports of William Weston, 1975, by Ernest Kallenbach, Ecological Utopia, in which the Pacific Northwest has seceded from the Union to set up a new society. Woman on the Edge of Time, 1976, by Marge Piercy, the story of a middle-aged Hispanic woman who has visions of two alternative futures, one utopian and the other dystopian. The Probability Brooch, 1980, by L. Neil Smith, a libertarian or anarchic utopia. Voyage from Yesteryear, 1982, by James P. Hogan, a post-scarcity economy where money Alabalo 1983 by Hans Widmer published under his pseudonym PM, an anarchist utopian world organized in communities of around 500 people. Always Coming Home 1985 by Ursula K. Again, a combination of fiction and fictional anthropology about a society in California in the distant future. Pacific Edge 1990 by Kim Stanley Robinson set in El Modna. California in 2065, the story describes a transformation process from the late 20th century to an ecologically sane future. The Fifth Sacred Thing 1993, by Starhawk, a post-apocalyptic novel depicting two societies, one a sustainable economy based on social justice and its neighbor, a militaristic and intolerant theocracy. 3001, the Final Odyssey 1997 by Arthur C. Clarke describes human society in 3001 as seen by an astronaut who was frozen for a thousand years. Area 2001-2008 by Kazue Amano, a manga and anime series set on terraformed version of the planet Mars in the 24th century. The main character, Akari, is a trainee gondolier working in the city of Neo Venezia based on modern-day Venice. Mana 2003 by Marshall Brain Essay that explores several issues in modern information technology and user interfaces, including some around transhumanism. Some of its predictions, like the proliferation of automation and AI in the fast food industry, are becoming true years later. Second half of the book describes perfect utopian society. Unirder, Build Yourself Paradise 2014, by Joe Oliver. Essay on how to build the utopia of Thomas More by using computers. The Culture Series by Ian M. Banks, a science fiction series released from 1987 through 2012. The stories center on the culture, a utopian, post-scarcity spaced society of humanoid aliens and advanced superintelligent artificial intelligences living in artificial habitats. The main theme is of the dilemmas that an idealistic, more advanced civilization faces in dealing with smaller, less advanced civilizations that do not share its ideals and whose behavior it sometimes finds barbaric. In some of the stories, action takes place mainly in non-culture environments, and the leading characters are often on the fringes of or non-members of the culture.